social media it is author Lakita T shop how are you guys doing today I hope you guys are somewhere doing great I hope you guys are doing awesome welcome to Lakita T shops famous inspirational minute I am so happy I am promoting my brand new 82nd book today the ultimate betrayal check it out at over at amazon.com you guys let's get this thing started i hope you guys are doing great this is what i want to say to you god is looking to build you up god is looking for people that he can start from the bottom and work their way up god is ready to take you just like he did david in the bible david went from poor to becoming famous david went from he was a young boy and god um bless him and he was with him every step of the way and david was um helping out the king Helping out King Saul, helping him out, and he was fighting battle after battle after battle, and he was becoming great and known in the in the area. And also, David, he didn't believe in himself. You know, he didn't believe in himself and didn't think he was worthy of being the king's um, son. Um, also as well. But I'm here to say that to you that. Um, the he was loved by people. David was loved by the people. Um, and also, you know, God is looking for people who he can raise up. He's not looking who people who trying to be cute and not wanting to be seen or whatever. He's looking for people that he can raise up and take them from the bottom and work their way up. He's looking for people who's not afraid to come out and be all that he has created them to be. God is looking for people who are who are who are courageous people who are not afraid of 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 being who they supposed to be god is ready to put you up front but you're gonna have to put the cuteness to the side you're gonna have to put being ashamed to a side because god is trying to transform you god is trying to make you into something yo i don't i don't know where you are right now in life i don't know where you work i don't know where you are but god is trying to take you from poor to rich god is trying to take you to make you and take you to the palace that's what he is trying to do so I don't know where you are right now and what you're doing in your life, but he is trying to transform you for you to become great, for you to become great. God is trying to make you, make you great. God is trying to do something in your life and put you up here okay he's trying to take you from the calipello to the butterfly okay you are not going to be the same if you connect with god god don't want you to be the same you think god wants you to sit down and do nothing no he's looking god you know what the word of god the word of god is not just talk the word of god is power that's what it's about it's about power you know, and he's trying to bring that power inside of you to make you who you supposed to be. Okay? There's some greatness in you, but you can't be afraid. You can't be afraid. And if you are afraid, you're going to have to move forward. He's trying to put you up front. He's trying to take you up front. He's trying to put you up front. You know what I mean? You know, David in the Bible, David had courage. He had courage. He had courage. He was fighting giants, giant after giant. You're going to have to fight your giants. You know what I mean? You're going to have to fight your giants. You know, God was with David. He was with David. David was fighting his giants left and right. And he was, he was so good. David was so good that he was working for the king and the king became jealous of him because people was people was um encouraging and and promoting david more than the king he was they was uplifting david more than they did the king more than they did king and he became jealous yes 
people may become jealous of you because why God is going to use you. God is going to make you great, but you can't be afraid of opposition. This job here, you gonna have to become someone you never became before to be someone who you never been. That's what God is trying to do for you. He don't want you to be the same. He don't want you to be like that. He don't want you to be nothing. He's trying to make you great. He's trying to turn you into something. When I started off, I was self-conscious about myself. I was self-conscious about myself. And he blessed me. I was, I, I was afraid of myself also. Didn't know who I was. And also, you know, I was self-conscious in my writing. And I went from one book to promoting my 82nd book today. Talking about God? What? God is the bomb, yo. God is awesome. And I'm telling you, you are missing out. When you're not putting God in your life and, and submitting to him and submitting to his will in your life, you are missing out. Because with God comes power. With power. I'm telling you, he's trying to make you poor. I mean, he's trying to take you from poor to becoming rich. And the reason why you are poor, the reason why you are struggling, because God is trying to knock that pride out of you. So you will know that it was only him that got you to the palace. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, God is going to do it for you. He's going to take you. He's going to catapult you to the next dimension. But you got to be ready. You got to come out of that shell. Stop hiding behind that shell. Yo, you got to come out so you can be great. Greatness comes with a price. And you got to be willing to pay. I paid the price. I'm paying the price for 13 years. 13 years and I'm still going, what? What? God is going to do it for you. Take that to the bank. That's from Hard to Kill. You seen Hard to Kill? Take that to the bank. All right, I'll talk to you later. God bless you. If you want to um, leave me a love donation, feel free to check the description box and it'll tell you where to send your love donation. Also, if you want me to promote your product, feel free to shoot me an email and I'll promote your product. Also, Check out my books over at Amazon.com. Check them out. The Ultimate Betrayal. Check it out. Amazon.com. Talk to you later. More coming. Always more coming. Always. We don't stop here at this house. We don't stop here. As long as I'm alive, as long as God is in my, my blood, we keep going. The children of God keep going. You can't stop us. All right, bye.